Hawke's Bay is really well known for two very distinct patches of dirt. We've got the gimlet gravels on my left here, which look kind of like this. As we walk a little bit further down the road, 200 metres only, we've got the red metal triangle. Now, if you drink wines that are derived wholly and solely from the triangle, you've got very fruit-driven round styles. These are very, very fertile soils. Chris Scott is the head winemaker at Church Road Winery. He blends grapes from both the gravels and the red metal triangle to make his Syrah. So he seemed like the right guy to ask about the difference between the two. Right, we've got the gravels. That's right. On the left, the red metal triangle. I want to know what the difference is. The gravels provides that sort of richer plum fruit and almost in a vintage like 08, almost getting into some sort of dried fruit sort of spectrum, so the Christmas cake mix, that sort of thing. Whereas with the red metals, it's much more bright berry fruit and a lot of the florals and the spice we get from the red metals as well. So it's almost a more aromatic expression of, of Syrah. After a quick taste of each, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what Chris is describing. Mm, OK. This evocative label belongs to Tom. The Church Road Bordeaux blend, named in honour of Tom MacDonald, who began his career here in 1921, at the age of 14. You can learn all about him in the museum on the premises. Tom is a little bit more expensive than probably my wallet at this point in time. How much would it set me back? Uh, that's $120 a bottle. Uh, I, can, mm. I, can, I can dream of that. That's mm. uh, sort of, you know, something that I can put away for a special occasion, perhaps. But um, not too much of a step down. This year's trophy winner at the uh, Royal Easter Show, Cabernet Merlot. Yep, correct. It's the uh, oldest and one of the largest wine shows in the country. This wine costs around $35, and I'm immediately struck by its rich red colour and ripe berry aroma. It's, it's a beautiful wine, uh, I'm, you know, congratulating, sort of pat on the back. It's a bit of a, bit of a cliche, but, I, I, you know, this is great and I certainly can't find fault with the judges, mate. I think they Thank know what they're doing. Much. Thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The Church Road Cab Merlot is one of the best value red blends I've tasted in a long time.